Hi, it's Taz back from the Showbiz Expo. So, good show this year, some very cool products, but one just blew everything else away. Coolest thing at the show. It was called The Cube. Um, take a look at this video, and then I'm going to come back and give you a little more information. So, watch this. Hi, my name is Rod Clark, and I'm the Director of Marketing for a company called Teradek, and we make streaming video encoders that are the world's first camera top video encoders. So, they transmit video over IP. Um, so, this camera is a RED digital, and we're taking the, uh, the video signal out of the HD SDI, and we're capturing the metadata that is queuing uh, a server to record the video separately as a proxy file. So what we do is, if I hit record right now, which I'm going to do, I'm going to roll a take, and I can roll the take for a moment, and then I can, there you go, I can cut the take, and the video that rolled is stored inside the camera at full yes. resolution, but it's also stored on a server in a compressed H.264 file. And what I do now is all I have to do is go over here on the AirPlay app on the iPad. And down here is the take that we just rolled. And I just touch it. And it brings it up. And let's go like this. And push play. And there you go. Look at that. So it's instant dailies on an iPad. And this is really changing the workflow, the post-digital workflow and the onset workflow for motion picture filmmaking. We're using them in a lot of top films right now. Um, the RED people have really embraced this and it's really uh, been a, a game changer for video assist. Tell me about the fact that it's also can stream with that 10 Oh, that's right. So uh, one of the things uh, we can do with this is we can stream to a variety of devices, including our own decoders and including uh, laptops. But we can stream live video to an iPad. Uh, there is a small latency. It's about 10 seconds when streaming to an iPad. Um, everything else is about a quarter second latency. Um, but yeah, you can stream beautiful, high definition 720 live video to an iPad. And what's the, uh, the price of your unit and when will it be available or if it's available? Um, so the price of our unit uh, is $2,100 for the HD SDI, $1,600 for the HDMI. We make matching decoders at the same price. And the uh, units are available now. You can get them from teradek.com, that's www.teradek.com. And we have a store. You can also get them at uh, b and Adorama, Film Tools, Burns & Sawyer, and uh, various rental houses across the country. Hi. So I wanted to give you a little more information about what you just saw. First, let's talk about the instant dailies. What's going on here is the Cube can create its own wireless network. Uh, it doesn't need a router on set. The, the, the Cube actually creates a wireless network. Uh, so then you can bring a laptop to set and wirelessly connect one-to-one -to, -one to the Cube. Once you've got that connection, you can configure the cube with a web browser on the laptop. It kind of ties into it, and you can access it and change all the parameters. And including in, within those parameters, you can define a shared folder on the laptop that the cube is going to use to write all the files to. So every time you roll on the camera, the cube is encoding and wirelessly transmitting the QuickTime, the H.264 QuickTime files, into the designated folder. So as soon as you're done with the shot, you now have a completed QuickTime folder in the folder, a QuickTime movie in the folder you designated ready to be watched. And then on that same laptop, you can have the um, Air Video server uh, working and accessing that same folder. And then you've got the Air Video app on your iPad, so you can now access that folder and watch the videos live. Um, so that's how you get it. Basically, it's going from the camera to the cube to a folder on your laptop to your iPad. Um, but something else worth mentioning is since it is now writing to a folder on your laptop, you could set up automated folder actions to do things with these QuickTime movies once they've arrived. You can have them automatically uploaded to an FTP service or run through some kind of uh, 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 some kind of other filtering if you want to remove interlacing or who knows what you want to do to it. But you can set up all these sort of automated actions that take place as soon as the movies arrive. So in addition to now getting instant dailies, you've actually got instant processing. So And they didn't mention that at all on the show floor. And they should because it's very cool. Um, okay, second thing was the live streaming video. Um, since I started Handheld Hollywood, the question I get the most is when can I use and how can I use my iPhone and my iPad as a live streaming device, as a, as a live video feed of my camera, a video tap? Uh, and the answer is you really couldn't up until recently, up until the Cube came along. The Cube makes it a little simpler. It brings us closer. Um, with the Cube, again, that one-to-one -one network now, your iPad to the Cube, is now transmitting video and, and streaming live on the iPad, but it's going to have about a 10-second delay. And let me explain why. The iPad, the iOS, the, the operating system, um, has an infrastructure that is made more for consumers. And Apple wants consumers to have the best viewing experience possible, so it's going to have as much video buffering as it can before it starts playing to avoid stuttering. And it's that video buffering that's causing the 10 second delay, because it's taking that long to gather as much video as it can before it starts playing. Um, if you were to have a laptop on set, 
and you were to do the direct feed and you were just doing the live stream to the laptop, you don't get that delay because the laptop doesn't have that buffering uh, infrastructure, doesn't require the buffering, so it'll start playing almost instantly. Now the good news is, um, if uh, obviously if you can stand a, a 10 second delay on set for your live video, if you're an instance where that works, then great, it works now, right now it works. But there, uh, the, I, talk, I talked to someone in the tech support department over at Teradek, and they said they're working on their own app for the iPhone and the iPad that will bypass the, the iOS infrastructure, allowing you to stream as quickly and efficiently as you do on a laptop. So it's quite possible in the very near future we're going to have apps and this hardware, the Cube hardware, that lets you turn your iPad and your iPhone into a live video tap, finally. So it's coming. Uh, I've seen the future, and, uh, and I think it's going to be here pretty soon. So anyway, check out the Cube. It's absolutely the super coolest thing I've seen in a long time. And um, that's it. If you, if you try it, if you use it on your set, let us know in the comments. And if I get my hands on it, I'll, uh, I'll let you know uh, about my experiences with it. Okay, that's it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.